national accounts deficit this is the one topic that i really really get struggled to get my my head around when i was uh, when i just didn't know the economic terms because of too many terms and then budget this gets mentioned so many times i never really could understand this man i could not understand the the, the statement of accounts for the country what does it mean right so we're going to discuss a few terms fiscal deficit revenue deficit primary deficit we're going to talk about plan and non plan revenue and capital expenditure why one type of deficit number is more important than something else and why deficit per se may not be something wrong that's what we're going to look at here now look at this what is what is the whole snapshot going to be the government the government gets what is called as tax revenue non tax revenue non debt capital receipts all three put together have this number which is non debt capital non debt receipts then the government spends money it spends money under two categories revenue expenditure and capital expenditure plan expenditure and non plan expenditure so they not in the same classification you can classify expenditure as revenue or capital and as plan or non plan i'm going to go deeper into these terms let's talk about revenues tax revenue i understand direct taxes in indirect taxes so income tax corporate tax sales tax vat excise tax all of those non tax revenue the government owns and runs a number of uh, psus companies public sector units whatever dividend it gets from there those are non tax revenues whatever money it gets from there whatever prof share of profits it get from there those are non tax revenues now non debt capital receipts debt capital receipts you should debt you get capital receipts That's government issuing debt non debt capital receipts think about what this could be how does this, capital receipts capital receipt happens when you sell or buy something so where does the government sell and make money what is this you might have heard of this term this is effectively privatization divesting its stake in psu you would heard of it heard of this term government owns something it sells 10% of that and then makes money on that and these are the receipts expenditure plan and non plan government comes up with a five year plan part of our soviet legacy and then say this is what we have planned whatever does it comes without not being part of the plan is non plan this here whole nomenclature is now being beaded out not not following very seriously so don't worry so much about it revenue expenditure and capital expenditure that is very 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 important any time you heard here this phrase capital expenditure that underpins building assets so you are taking money to build something to create something that is going to give you payoffs over a period of time what is revenue expenditure Let's just keep the lights on. Very simple. You keep the lights on. You make sure that regular business continues. So salaries, rental, electricity bill, all of that will cap come under revenue expenditure. Building bridges, factories, dams, roads, railways, all of those will come under under capital expenditure. Right? Very simple. Now, what is fiscal deficit? It is expenses minus. very simple there usually be a deficit and expenses are generally higher than our revenue which is not a bad thing we'll come to that later on expenses more than revenue this is fiscal deficit now this is serviced by the government borrowing every year the government borrows money from the banks in a roundabout way it borrows from the people but mostly from the banks now they got this idea plan and non plan read upon this but i'm going to skip this because the entire nomenclature is being removed revenue expenditure and capital expenditure we have already covered now we're going to talk about this term called as revenue deficit revenue deficit is revenue expenditure minus of a plus b so d minus of a plus b is revenue deficit a very important number more probably more important than this fiscal deficit now before we go into why that is more important why that is critical we want to draw an entire parallel to a household and how what is this as a proxy for the household and tax revenue non tax revenue think about it as income earned by people by by household members by the by the patriarch or the matriarch they earn some money that is what this is non debt capital receipts so they sell 
some old assets. You have an old TV, you sell that. You have an old mattress, you sell that and make some money. That is non-debt capital receipts. Revenue expenditure. You pay rent, you pay for food, you go for entertainment, you watch a movie, all of those are revenue expenditure. Capital expenditure. You bought a house, you are paying EMI on it. The repayment component of the EMI is capital expenditure. You're going to study something. You take a loan for that. The loan repayment component is capital expenditure. Right? Now, if you have a fiscal deficit, the family earns, say, 50,000 in the month. They spend around about 35,000 a month on regular rent and income. And then they spend about 17, 18,000 paying off an EMI or educational loan. Your monthly budget still falls short. You'll have to either sell something or borrow. But that is still okay because you're paying this 18,000 EMI for an educational loan. That is going to give you the degree in the end. And therefore, that will take this up to 100,000. If and when that happens, life is easy. So, if you're building assets and financing the asset building part by taking a loan, that is all right. You buy a house, obviously, the house costs a lot of money, way more than probably an annual income. So there'll be a big hole there. But you're building an asset. You're borrowing to build an asset, which you're going to own, which is going to be valuable for many years, which is going to perhaps drive your income or drive down your expenses over time. So it is a meaningful investment, capital thrown in. That's all right. However, if you have a revenue deficit, means you won't earn 50,000, just rent food, all kinds of entertainment, that is 60,000. You have to borrow to sustain your current lifestyle, you're in jail. If you have to sell old TV, old houses, old stock to finance your current lifestyle, you're in jail. So fiscal deficit is all right. Revenue deficit is not all right. And so keep that in mind. So whenever you're looking at national accounts, think like that. Revenue deficit is a risky thing. You're going into a loop where if you're continuously having revenue deficit, you'll have to keep, you'll need to keep on borrowing more and more amounts. That, that, that spells trouble. Fiscal deficit, not so much. That is fine. Beyond this, there's something called as primary deficit, which is revenue deficit minus interest payment. We borrowed a lot of money to keep our household parallel. Let's say you have not borrowed a lot of money. Your father's father has borrowed a lot of money. Your mother's father has borrowed a lot of money and you are servicing interest payments on these. You are paying interest on that borrowing. It still dents a hole. You need to be careful. But this is not on account of your ill management or your lavish lifestyle. This is what you have inherited. In national account terms, this is what you are saddled with because of the past sense of prior governments. Lots of governments have piled up debt and you are servicing their interest payments. So perhaps it is not fair to accommodate count that as well. So we'll remove that also and then see if you're running a deficit. If you run a primary deficit, you are well and truly in jail. Even after stripping out interest payments, if you're running a deficit, then you're keeping the lights on spending is way more than your receipts. That means it is unsustainable. Sooner or later, something will have to give. So you cannot afford to have a primary deficit. You should avoid a revenue deficit. But fiscal deficit might not be such a bad thing. Countries that are growing, that are developing economies, that need to spend large amounts on infrastructure, they should make sure this is very low and not sweat if this is still high. If you have low revenue deficit or a revenue surplus and high fiscal deficit, that's all right. You're living a tight life, you're making sure you're managing finances, and you're spending to build assets and to build your own income generation capacity. It's like saying, look, I earn 25,000 a month, I save 16,000 a month, I live a very frugal lifestyle, but I'm going to take a 16 lakh loan to graduate from I'm Ahmedabad or Bangalore. Very same, very correct. That's going to have a huge impact on life lifestyle. That is what you should do. And this is a parallel at the national account level. So know these terms, know intuitively what is meant by fiscal deficit, revenue deficit, primary deficit, what are what are tax revenues, non-tax revenues, what, do, what is meant by these terms, capital expenditure, revenue expenditure. Know those terms intuitively, that is very vital.